is up everyone, it's Liz here with the NACT Stage 3 Recap. With the regular season all wrapped up and playoffs right around the corner, let's get up to speed with all the action. The top 4 teams for the playoffs are locked in and it wasn't done without the biggest upset. Just when you thought Knight of Fate or Bloodhound had it in their pocket for the last coveted spot, Area 77, the Sleeping Lions roared back in just one epic weekend. And like Knight of Fate in Stage 2, Area 77 landed that top 3 finish playing like real champs. And because knocking out Nana Fade on day 1 for the lower bracket is how they got to face off and destroy Avalon for day 2, their win-loss record against Nana Fade pushed them one step further, taking that victory home. But the story doesn't end yet for Nana Fade fans out there, as the latest roster adjustment just revealed Zero will be joining Area 77 playing at the Grand Finals live, proving the saying, it can't be them, join them. As for Avalon, Hardy took that loss a little personal, where despite his team still making it to LA, he returns home to PTK playing as a sub. Now with Hardy back in the picture, is PTK one step closer to remaking history like M3? I guess we'll only know in the future. As of now, PTK finally pulled off a comeback against the undefeated Ohio brothers, reminiscent of last NACT. Moba Zane, who faced relentless roast all season, finally had his redemption moment against the Ohio brothers with a dominating series win. To be fair, standings were pretty sealed for the two teams and the Ohio brothers played at a man disadvantage where manager Rat had to sub in for Shark due to his Ohio connection. Still, the series left a stain onto the Ohio brothers where I got Hoon himself to take us on an inside scoop. I heard uh, you had a, a little nightmare where chicken lived <laughs> red free in your head. Tell us, tell us about it. Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> so I woke up, I had a nightmare. About <laughs> what? Getting hooked by I, chicken? I Franco with chicken's face on it? Yeah. <laughs> Flicker hooked me? In my dream. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I told you that, right? In game, I don't even know where he came from. I know he flicked I'm pretty sure bro. I didn't see Franco in the map. And then suddenly I got hooked. I was like, oh, my bad, I guess. Because, I mean, the Gord, Gord game, when he was on Franco, that game, I thought we won, but Franco came out of nowhere and they hooked me. I mean, even the last NACT matches, the mm -hmm. second second phase, um, we knew his Franco was, was pretty good, uh, but didn't come as much of a threat because we had a lead the whole game, I feel like, but... Yeah, considering that we only played support heroes in the tank section, plus NACT just gave more room for him to yeah. uh, hook a lot. So I think that was the difference. Now it looks like Hoon got a little PTSD from Chichen's hooks, but who can blame him? Fried Chicken proves himself a legend this season, getting PC on that room in just two weeks, definitely earning employee of the month. Now being the jack of all trades, if PTK do end up going to M5, Rome will be the third position at Chicken conquered on the world stage. And that concludes our Stage 3 recap. As a reminder, Grand Finals is happening in less than a week, so book your tickets now if you haven't done so already. And if you don't know yet, Ghostu General, the OG of NA, will be your special guest joining us at the offline event, so it's going to be a show you do not want to miss. Now stay tuned for more updates, keep the hype up on social media, and we'll see you at the Grand Finals.